This is my 1979 Chrysler Cordoba. And this is the sponsorship deal that I've been talking to you guys about for the last couple of weeks. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be unboxing the sponsorship package from Forever Sharp Steering Wheels. Let's dive into it. So guys, if you stick around to the very end of the video, I've got a very special surprise that you guys could actually benefit from. So before we jump into this unboxing, I want to show you why I reached out to Forever Sharp Steering Wheels on a sponsorship deal for the old Chrysler Cordoba. Let's take a look. Some of you may have noticed in previous episodes that the car has been featured in my videos that the steering wheel is starting to lose its faux leather finish here uh, and it's flaking off and it looks really really terrible and well I just figured it was time to do something about that and I was totally prepared to go out and buy a brand new steering wheel and when I found out that Forever Sharp had sponsorship packages well I applied and they approved me for one for this car so so part of that sponsorship deal is they want me to take pictures and I told them that I would videotape unboxing this new steering wheel package and make sure that we post it all over social media. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to unbox it, we're gonna get a few pictures, post it up on Instagram for the whole world to see so that now they know we've got a Forever Sharp steering wheel in my Chrysler Cordoba. So let's get over there and get this thing unboxed. So we're gonna do this inside the garage because it is quite windy out today and I'm afraid that that wind will wisp at the microphone and create too much noise. Even though you can hear the wind rustling in the trees, we are going to keep the wind out of the microphone today and we're going to get things set up right here. So, without further ado, let's unbox this Forever Sharp steering wheel. Alright, so we've got our utility knife out here and we're going to cut through all this tape. And we'll see what we've got in the box. Well, first of all, one of the first things I noticed when it was first delivered was the smell. I could smell something very pleasant coming out of the box. Well, now I know what it was. It was some Forever Sharp air fresheners. Man, they smell like cologne. It smells really, really good. We've also got some stickers, uh, different types of stickers here for the toolbox. And I'll be giving some of these away to you guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, and even more stickers. It looks like we've also got a couple of lanyards here. Some keychains with Forever Sharp on them. And a couple of cold drink koozies. You can never have too many of those. And also what looks like a Forever Sharp banner. For the garage and we'll make sure we get that hung up as well. So now we are about to uncover the actual steering wheel itself. We're going to get rid of all this stuff because with that wind it will make an awful mess. Take this out of the box. Get rid of this brown one. And I'm so excited right now to be unboxing this Forever Sharp steering wheel for my 79 Chrysler Cordoba. Let's dive into it. You guys ready for this? So, that wasn't the reveal I was expecting. <laughs> and one of the things that I did, knowing that this car has a cancel spring that's broken, I picked up those because I'm going to have everything apart anyway. Let's get this thing unwrapped. Well, wasn't expecting that. That's just the ring for the outside of it. And this is the actual steering wheel itself. 
which is double wrapped. Oh yeah. So this is just the actual aluminum part of the ring. It's got the finger grips on the back side. And the grip itself is leather and it comes with the screws to mount it on there. So we're just going to set it in place for now. Oh yeah. That feels awesome. So I guess in the black box it wasn't a uh, it wasn't an adapter at all. It was the actual horn button. It's just going to go just like so, and I'm going to get a picture. And here's the actual adapter to mount it to the steering column. Mine is a three bolt, so that's what those are for there. The horn button comes up through that, so that'll just set it off of the steering column very easily. And it's got a nice finish on the outside to match the column. I'm going to get this stuff all set up on the table for a little bit of a photo shoot, so I can get it up on Instagram, and I'll be right back with you. So now the very next thing we got to do is we've got to get this thing installed into the car, so that's something that we're going to do next. Stay tuned for that. Okay, it's now the evening and we've made it back into the garage here. We're getting ready to assemble this steering wheel on the old Mopar. First thing we got to do is we've got to take the actual grip of the wheel and install it to the steering wheel itself. Now a couple of things that I want to point out is the construction. So this lip is made of what looks like ABS plastic and wrapped in leather. It's going to get held in to this steering wheel with five Allen head screws. One of the things I'll note about this steering wheel is that it is so stinking light. So there's like no weight to this hardly at all. We've got our center cap that goes on, the very last thing which has our horn button kind of built into it. And we've got our adapter that's gonna fit onto the steering column. So what I've gotta do is I've gotta get the steering wheel assembled get the old one off and while we're in there we're going to replace the cancel spring on the turn signal and then we'll be able to start assembling everything back together with the new wheel so some of this i'm going to do to a time lapse uh, because it's a little bit boring and monotonous but i'm going to assemble this steering wheel we'll get the old one ripped off and then i'll be right back with you So we managed to get this far, we've got the wheel off and you'll notice that there is no return spring for the signal light cancel here, but there is one here. This package comes with two, so I'm going to replace them both. That way I know both of them are 100% once we get everything back together. So I'm going to do that now. So we've got our two signal cancel springs in there, the two new ones. Now we've got to put everything back together and then we can mount that steering wheel. The problem that we're going to have, because I didn't bring the puller tool home from work, is getting this back in place and setting that little lock ring because that spring right there has a ton of tension on it. So we've got to be able to push and then get that locked in at the same time. It's always a battle, especially when you don't have the right tools. So. I'm going to struggle with this and I'll be back with you as soon as I'm ready to put the new steering wheel on. Okay, so we're at the point in the uh, video where we're about to mount the steering wheel and horn button. And I've done a few steering wheels in my time and they're all pretty much the same. Um, where you've got to use about three hands, one to hold the steering wheel, one to get the wires through the hole in the steering wheel and hook them up to the horn button and uh, then another one to start the screws that hold the steering wheel the steering wheel and horn button together in place on the column so you're about to see just how awkward this is so uh, let's put it together so I do know that 
the steering wheel at present is clocked about like this. I think. Because that way is way, way too far off, I think. Easiest thing to do is check the steering, let's check the uh, wheel, see which direction I pointed in. Could have done this before I hit record, but I didn't. And I can't get past the camera. So the wheels are almost straight, slightly turned to the right. <clears throat> so I think that's going to be the position. So I'm going to try and use my knees. And according to this little diagram, the top one, the top connector is used the ground so it's going to be this one so this is grounded like so which means this one's live so it's going to go over here like so Just like that. And I'm going to tuck the wires in and start these screws with the black screw pack, which seems to be out of reach at the moment. Let's go back down here. There they are. So I'm going to let that hang. Open up the baggie. Dump the screws ditch the wire and try and line it up one more time so I think the holes we're going for were where right there nope right right there so that's gonna kind of go in so like so So there we have it folks, we've got our new Forever Sharp steering wheel installed on the old Chrysler. All I gotta do is go under the hood, hook up the horn button, and we should be good to go. I wanna take this opportunity to thank Hope and Joanna at Forever Sharp for getting me set up with this steering wheel. So first time around, we had a little bit of trouble. Forever Sharp sent this thing out via USPS. About a month went by, and we didn't know where it was. So I called them, got the tracking number, and it turned out, for some reason, it got delivered in Penticton, British Columbia, the other side of the country. So we've got a claim in with Canada Post to see if they can track down where it went. In the meantime, Joanna was very kind. She said, I'm gonna send you out another one of uh, UPS, and it literally showed up uh, within about four or five days coming from California to Eastern Canada. Here it is, we've got it installed. Everything looks amazing. This black matte finish goes really good with the interior of this car. Thank you so much Forever Sharp for sponsoring this video and making this car look just that much more cooler. Because Forever Sharp was kind enough to give me a little bit of a swag pack, I'm giving back to you guys. All you have to do is comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this Forever Sharp steering wheel. And I'm going to take half of all these stickers, the lanyard, the air fresheners, and the koozie, and I'm gonna give them away. I'll mail them out to you free of charge. So let's comment down below if you like the Forever Sharp steering wheel that we've installed on the Chrysler Cordoba, and you will automatically be entered to win this little bit of a Forever Sharp swag pack. Guys, if you want your very own Forever Sharp steering wheel, 
I will leave a link in the description box down below. You guys can go over there and get one. I have your very own many styles to choose from. You're not going to be disappointed. So I am really looking forward to getting out and driving this and feeling the comfort on that grip of that new steering wheel and uh, seeing how this car handles. It's a little bit smaller than the one that I had on there as far as the diameter of the grip. But nevertheless, it does feel good and I can't wait to get on the road. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again really soon. So guys, I hope you stay tuned to the very end of this video because you, you blah, 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 blah. part of the whole deal is, is that I've got to I gotta do something. <laughs> and part of that sponsorship deal is that they want me to unbox it. They want me to take pictures. They've also Come on, Jason, get it together. So now the very next thing we got to do is we've got to get this thing installed into the car. So that's something that we're going to do next. So stay tuned for that episode. No, we're already into an episode. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Exactly. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody that was involved at <laughs> we had a little bit of a challenge getting it the first time because it was sent out U not UPS. We had a little bit of a challenge getting it. Stop and think, Jason. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we are going to give you a little bit of a surprise. No, we're not. Guys, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I have a surprise for you. Guys, if you want your very own Forever Sharp steering wheel, I'm gonna leave a link in the description block.